June is Caribbean Heritage Month and there are so many events coming up, including Hookie Weekend, which is taking place June 16th through the 20th. It is returning for the first time in three years with music, dance, fun and food. Hookie Weekend is six events in five days, so we're going to have more about that a little later in the show. But first, we're going to hear from one of the event headliners, international soca artist Kess of Kess the Band. Kes, good morning. We're so excited to have you here, especially after everything we've been through the last couple of years. How have you been as we're like coming out of this pandemic? You know, I've been um, just creating music yeah. and, you know, traveling as we could and touring as we could. So things are starting to roll again. And I think I'm still getting accustomed to that as well. <laughs> but um, it's, it's exciting, you know, because I really missed uh, the people that really miss performing for actual crowds yeah. and jumping off of Zoom. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> seeing, you know, seeing real uh, interaction. And um, I look forward to this year of, of, of interesting places, you know, and places that we've we've missed as well. Yeah. Will you be able to bring your family with you on the road? Or is that something I know you mentioned you have to get up with them every morning, right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I really love to take my daughter to different mm. places. We have a few places we've had marked, um, but mm. you know, definitely it's uh, it's it's a dread. Uh, it's a lot of work on your road, so I look for the the trips that make sense. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so then, um, you know, um, when we can get on your road, we're there, you know. Um, but as much time as I can spend when I get home, I make sure and I do that as well too. You know? Yeah, yeah. You're you're hitting so many cities on this tour. Um, which ones are you looking the most forward to? Are you coming here maybe <laughs> to DC? Definitely. <laughs> um, DC is a very very special place for us as well. Yeah. Um, so we're looking forward to coming to DC this year, and maybe it maybe will not be the first time this year. Maybe uh, one of two. But um, we definitely love DC and have a lot of great memories there. So it's it's, it's great to come out and perform and and represent for, you know, the Caribbean community and our vibes and spread that message to the world of good vibes, you know? Yeah. For people who maybe haven't been able to see you perform live before, what can, can they expect? It looks like it's such a high energy, entertaining show. It's definitely um, entertainment. I, I would definitely say that soca music, Calypso music is a great music to enjoy live because that's what we're accustomed really doing. Um, all around our, all around the world, just jamming out live and, and giving yeah. people the real, um, a real taste of, of what it is to party in Trinidad. So um, it's it's fun because a lot of people, you know, who haven't seen us before, it's always fun to see people get it when they actually come to a show. Um, and you know, it's a challenge for us as well to to you know spread the message and get people to, to understand the energy that it is but um i love it i love it i love doing that i love introducing new people so if you're new <laughs> and you want to see Castivan, well we're going to be in your town so look out for us yeah. definitely come check us out man well i also before we go i wanted to ask you real fast you posted a new song uh, in april on youtube is it <laughs> leaky tiki am i saying that right leaky tiki and <laughs> Close. it already has 1.2 million views like what when you go and you see those numbers what do you feel like with that fan base that's been behind you and supporting you this whole way well, first of all, I mean, I'm, I'm extremely grateful that yeah. people are listening and people are feeling the music. But with that song in particular and, and the last one, um, I'm finding a lot of, you know, new listeners, new um, from different countries, different walks of life. Everyone is sort of tuned into our vibration and the sound. And I'm really happy to collaborate with um, Michael Brune um, out, of, out of Haiti. Um, Jay Perry out of Haiti and um, you know for us to cross pollinate yeah. you know music yeah. and our genres it really is working wonders because I feel like it's spreading to all new right. markets so I'm excited to see where that song goes you know yeah oh I mean it's already <laughs> taken off beyond uh, yeah. what most people would ever see so thank you for helping spread the good vibes after what we've been through the last couple of years Kes we need you more yes. now than ever <laughs>
<laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Our work uh, has to be done this year for sure to bring back some <laughs> yes. color vibes to people. Yeah. Great to talk to you, Kes. Awesome. Blessed morning. We're going to have more on the Hookie DC event and everything that's happening here in the DC region for Caribbean Heritage Month coming up just a little bit later in our show.